What if I told you that your next phone could have a battery life that lasts four or five days? Would that get exciting? Because it is a possibility. This is G Butter, and I talk about tech, mostly phones and drones. So if that's your thing, hit the subscribe button, and also I wouldn't mind the thumbs up. Now, I, I, I should say, don't hold your breath. We might not actually see multi-day battery life phones come to the market. As of an hour or two ago, there was only one YouTube video on this topic. It's hot off the press. I got this email. There's a new technology. It's not actually that new once I did a little bit of research on it. It's called lithium sulfur batteries. It's actually the 30s or something that it was invented, but because it's such a huge amount of energy in such a condensed package, it's been really hard to mass produce. But I also read on Wikipedia that the longest solar powered flight, longest and highest, was powered by lithium sulfur batteries. Talking about a lot of energy in a condensed package, one of the main obstacles was rapid discharge of energy. And we all know where that ends up if we follow the grand tour, if you know what I mean, Philip. Another problem, if I understood this video on YouTube correctly, it's done by uh, what seems to be a super smart guy. He talked, very scientific talk. So I wasn't able to 100% follow him. I think I understood that another problem with this technology is the expansion and contraction when you charge and discharge the battery. So those two obstacles had to be overcome. But it looks like they've been able to do something about those things because they're going to do some real life testing in 2020 with some prototypes. Which could mean that by 2021, 2022, so that could be your next smartphone. If you just got a smartphone and you are like 90% of the population, you will have your smartphone for two, maybe even three years. And your next one might be hacking this amazing technology. As I was also reading this Wikipedia, which I will link in the description, I will also link the video that I found on YouTube, the first one on the topic, in the description below. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I was reading on Wikipedia, Wikipedia also that in 2017 alone, there were 700 publications, research papers published on this very topic, which is huge. And it's totally understandable given the huge issue with climate change. If you think of the fires in Australia, um, a few years back there were fires in Alberta, Canada. It's just becoming a big thing and fossil fuels are just not sustainable. So obviously scientists are ramping up the research on sustainable energy. So, why do I not think that we will see multi-day battery life phones ever, in my opinion? The first reason, 99% of us don't actually need multi-day phones, multi-day battery life phones. One full day is plenty, so one and a half days would be safe. That would get the heavy users through the day. But really, if you're like 99% of people out there, you put your phone on the charger right when you go to bed. Most people, it's right on their nightstands. They use it as their alarm clocks. I should get back into that because I've been sleeping in a lot. Number two is that aesthetics. I was like, what? There's a huge typo in my notes. Aesthetics. Look at this beautiful Razer phone that I did a video on uh, a few weeks back. One of my main complaints about this phone was that the battery was tiny and battery life would likely suffer. With this new battery tech, the battery could be even tinier and still have longer battery life than what it has now or soon to be released. So aesthetics, basically get the battery smaller, make a phone thinner. One of the complaints of iPhones in the last few years is that they're getting thicker and thicker. Like this 10R is ridiculously thick. This is just a cheapo deluxe Samsung and it's way thinner even without the case on here. Number three would be tech. This is something I really like about Samsung phones until recent. The headphone jack, the beloved headphone jack. So one of the main reasons that we're told 
phones are getting rid of the headphone jack is to fit more tech in there. So you get the wireless charging, that's a big pad on the back. <laughs> Not pad on the back, but anyways. Things like the Taptic engine, which is kind of big at the bottom near where the headphone jack used to be. You have speakers and in the Pixel 4 you have that, is it a radar technology? Something that is able to read your hand gestures. So that's extra tech in there. The more advanced phones get, the more tech they'll want to pack into it, the less room they'll have for batteries and the happier they will be with more efficient batteries, batteries that can pack more energy into a smaller package. And hence is another reason why we won't see a multi-day battery life phone. Reason number four is money. When it comes down to it, every company out there is in it to win it, is in it for the money. Not only are these lithium sulfur batteries more efficient, they are also cheaper to make once they have it all figured out. Phone companies will see this as a huge opportunity to increase their profits and, and, and putting smaller batteries in their phones that can get maybe a couple of hours more battery life as opposed to four days more battery life, even getting a little, like a couple of hours more battery life and keeping their costs the same, to the consumer that would be amazing. Uh, a new flagship phone for still only a thousand bucks instead of 1100 bucks this year. So that'll be great for them. And because the batteries will be cheaper and smaller, less is also less money, so they'll be saving double, right? and they'll be able to market it as um, better value for money, which really is gonna to translate to more money in their pockets. E even though it sounds pessimistic, that's actually me being optimistic that they will kind of plateau their prices at $1,000 for flagships, although they're already getting away from that with the Razer at 1500 bucks and the bigger iPhones and the Pixel 4 XL being more than 1000 bucks. But whenever these batteries launch, I'm hoping it'll kind of plateau that price for a while. That's the optimist in me. And the pessimist in me, I guess, it says that it'll, it'll kind of jump the price and they'll use this new battery tech as an excuse. I thought that was gonna be all, but I do have one more thing. And that one more thing is, there's always the outlier phones. So you get your, well, this is not a flagship, but you get your flagship iPhones, flagship Samsungs, the Galaxy S, Plus line and the Galaxy Note line, now it's a Note Plus, and the Pro this and Pro that, and the Ultra this, apparently S20 Ultra. The mainstream phones that kind of stick to the comfort of what we know, but then you have these outliers, like you get, you get this Taser phone that uh, Lou from Unbox Therapy once reviewed, you get this, um, you do get multi-battery, multi-day battery phones which are like huge bricks. You get these just weird outlier phones that do weird things. Um, kind of less on the extreme is the the LG double screen phone, which is actually a single screen with an attachment that makes it a double screen. So you get the, the less wild ones, but even though I don't think we'll see your main companies building multi-day phones, um, you might see these outliers that'll have multi-day phones, but that's kind of unfortunate because they tend to put um, mid to low range chipsets in their phones and other components. So that's kind of a bummer. But you never know, Samsung is kind of uh, really blowing up their mid to low range phones right now. So you never know, Samsung might actually come out with a monster battery one because they came out just a few months ago with this monster phone that I also had in one of my videos. Man, I've done a lot of videos on phones. All right, that's enough of me rambling. If you like breaking news, you should totally subscribe and hit the bell notification because just like my last or two videos ago, I came down here in my jammies because I wanted to tell you first. Uh, as soon as I hear something, I will make a video. So until next time, 